The foundation really exists to help patients who don't have anywhere else to turn. Those who don't have the support network or the family to help them get over that medical diagnosis, to see them through long-term treatments, uh, to really bridge the gap. It's all about helping our neighbors. When your money's used, it's a real service to someone. It, it provides for a need that they have, and sometimes it's a desperate need. I can tell you that we have had patients cry when we offer them help. We just really, truly look at what, what's going on in that patient's life that they're sharing with us and just sit there and talk with them to see how can we best serve them. You see so many patients impacted by the services that we provide at Cookville Regional through the foundation. In every department, they are impacted in some way. It's one patient at a time. I mean, it is even one life impacted in a positive manner is worth it. I had found the knot myself in December, and on January 13th, they told me I had breast cancer. You could sometimes have five or six doctor appointments in a week. I mean, you're taking your gas money probably to pay your bills. It's a lot for any person to have to go through. I got to the point where we just needed a little help with our house payment. They took it and paid it and with no questions asked. Yeah, Clifford Regional Hospital is just unreal what they do for people. When you give to the foundation, you're drastically changing someone's life. All of our overhead costs is covered. 100% goes to help those patients that you select. If you give $25, you can help us provide transportation for a patient and get some back and forth to the cancer center for a month. You give $100, that will cover most generic medications. Uh, if you're given, you know, $1,000, that's helping us keep a, a family in their home for a couple months. So it doesn't take a big gift to have a really big impact on a patient's life. Uh, well, I was diagnosed with sarcoma cancer about six months ago. First, I was working full time, um, but then with chemo, radiation, and the tumor growing, um, I wasn't, I'm not able to work full time anymore. I knew one of the people in the household that was supporting your family, and I think you're the one that needs the support, but knowing that. There's somebody there that's always there to, to help you, it, it, it helps a lot. Whatever amount you can give, what you're doing is feeding someone, housing someone, helping with a true need that they have. Even though you may never see their face, just know that there are plenty of faces that sit across the desk from me that are blessed through this fund.